two friends playing on a field. Simple, pure, easy. It's what you can't see that's hard. Olivia Hamilton's childhood changed forever in November 2009. With a persistent pain in her arm, her parents took her to doctors in Tulsa for special testing. There, the family received the news. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, cancer. But when you heard that word, what did you think? That I wouldn't live. Immediately, my thought was, I don't want my child to die. And in that moment, that's all I could think about. Just after diagnosis, she began treatment. 108 weeks of chemotherapy. What is chemotherapy like? Not fun. And it makes me where I get sick and I can't play with my friends and I can't do anything. It was horrible. I watched my child almost die in front of me. A nine-year-old kid going through that, that is just, kids shouldn't have to go through that. I mean, she's missed her childhood for two years. In a diversion from the radiation, the kidney failure, the bone fractures, from the pain, Olivia went to a coaches versus cancer basketball game at Oklahoma State in the winter of 2010. There, she met Cowboys receiver, Justin Blackman. She was so shy. She was, uh, she was trying to hide behind her dad. She wouldn't give me a high five or anything. A few months later, Blackman made a visit to Olivia's hospital, and the two met again. She came, hugged me, warmed up, and, you know, I was just ecstatic, you know, that she was happy to see me. Do you know how many times he came to see you in the hospital? Maybe three or four times. What did that mean to you? A lot. A friendship began when Olivia came to see Blackman play for the first time last season against Tulsa. She left a gift in his locker. A bracelet, a pink bracelet. It said, live, laugh, beats, A-L-L. -L. What is A-L-L? -L? It is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He put the bracelet on and wore it during the game. Down the right side for the end zone, and it's caught by Justin Blackman. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. From that moment on, they've been buddies. They've just been best friends, and I think she just draws strength from him. She always looks for her bracelet. Whenever he catches a touchdown, she yells, there's my bracelet. I knew it meant a lot, you know, that I wore it. It's a piece of Olivia, you know, walking around with me every day. Every time I look down at it, you know, I see her. For a year and a half, the bond between the little girl and the big receiver has grown. This is Olivia's 90th week of treatment. She is now in clinical remission, in fourth grade, in cheer squad. One, two, three, four, five. My name is Olivia and I say hi. Six, seven. Living her life. A hard path still lies ahead, but easier with a friend. We have a real good bond. For some reason, when we get around each other, it just kind of clicks. I'd like to say, I mean, we make a good match. He's awesome. He's an awesome player, and I care about him, too, and I love him.